A symbolic visit for Xi Jinping. To swear in Hong Kong's new leader and to seal a victory over the city. The pageantry controlled and socially distanced. The new chief executive, John Lee, a former police officer handpicked by Beijing. Political power must be in the hands of patriots, said she, declaring a new era of stability that leaves no room for open dissent. Xi's hard line on Hong Kong has transformed the city since a national security law imposed two years ago crushed pro-democracy protests that were at times violent, with some protesters calling for independence. Since then, hundreds of activists, politicians and journalists have been rounded up. Some media outlets shut down. Even textbooks have been rewritten. The protest movement now all but silenced. What Hong Kong's government says was needed to end chaos. It's only sustainable if Hong Kong accepts China's sovereignty, uphold China's security and developmental interests. In the past few years, you know, a lot has happened. In 1997, Hong Kong was handed over to China from Britain with the promise of a one country, two systems principle to guarantee for 50 years certain political freedoms not enjoyed in mainland China. Now at the halfway point, Nathan Law, a prominent activist living in self-exile, thinks one country, two systems is already dead. All we can feel is the deep betrayal. We have never um, felt like Beijing um, respects our community and the promises they gave to us. It has fed an exodus from Hong Kong. Statistics show the city of 7.4 million lost 116,000 residents in 2020 and 2021. And the number this year could be higher because tough COVID rules are grading. Most people are going to Singapore, Canada or the UK. The U.S. is among several countries critical of China in calling for freedoms to be reinstated in Hong Kong, where streets that once filled with protests were today heavily guarded and subdued. This visit also had personal significance for Xi Jinping as he pursues an unprecedented third term in power later this year. It shores up his standing with the Communist Party here and shows Chinese control over Hong Kong is now complete. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.